Okay, so I finally gotten some time off after finishing my summer classes because I didn't have time at all because everything was sped up and I didn't have time to test anything and make a video. But finally now I have done some more testing on the fans that I have. And for now I've only tested the new NFP12 Redux fan, which is the new fan that I'm actually reviewing in this video. But I've also retested the NFA12X25, the Sky GT and the NFF12. Because if you've seen my NFA12X25 review, you'll see that in the description I added that the results were kind of wrong. I was off by about 3 degrees or so, and so I decided to just scrap all my data and just retest it with um, the fans. Because I think it might have skewed the results if the results, if the results aren't accurate. And I think what might have happened was that the radiator of my PC got clogged and it's dirty or something. Or I don't really know, but yeah. Now the data is actually accurate, I retested them all at once, so there shouldn't be any variations because I'm not using my PC for testing in a long time. But I would really honestly just try to make up another test bench set up for testing fans in the future. But for now, here's the new testing results. And before that, we can just first take a look at the NFP12 fan. So this is their new uh, P12, which is the... well. Technically, it's a new model, it's a P12 Redux, but it's also based on the old uh, NFP12, the original static pressure fan that Octro made, which is their first static pressure design fan. And I think the reason for that is because people kept asking for a pressure optimized Redux fan because they loved the gray color, but they didn't have a pressure optimized fan. All they have was the S12, which is the airflow fan. But now they finally have the P12, which is more ideal for radiator placements. But we'll see just how true is that when I actually test it on the radiator. Um, but yeah, they, because they finally launched the NFA 12 X25, they could finally retire the NFP 12 from the standard lineup and just have the NF if, the NFF 12 beside the NFA 12. And now they can put the NFP 12 inside the Redux lineup, which by the way is very bare minimum. You don't get anything in the package except for some tapping screws, not even the anti-rubber mounts on here that you see. These are the mounts that I put myself, which I got from other fans from Noctua because I didn't use it and I thought it looks kind of cool, so I did it for a video. But you really won't get anything, but I don't think anyone's going to miss some brown corner fan mounts. So you should probably just get some Chromax uh, white, black or any other color that you want on the fans if you actually really want some rubber corners on these fans. But anyways, let's take a look at the fan in closer detail and see what's what with this new model. So looking at the fan itself, you can see it's a different design from their standard fan. It's clearly a two shade of gray instead of shade of brown and a shade of tan like on their standard fans or even just all black on their IPPC fans from Noxua. But you see that this design is actually something that you might have seen before. It's the same design as the old NFP12. Except that on the Redux lineup, they now have the 1700 RPM model instead of just 1200 and 1500 RPM on the standard ones when it originally launched. And you can also see that now the P12 supports these rubber corners as well, the Chromax corner bits that you can also buy from Noctua that has different colors. You can also put that on these fans. But I think that the browns also look pretty good, although you can't really buy the browns all yourself, you just have to get them from other Noctua fans that you might have. And you don't actually get anything from in a box, you don't get these rubber corners. I just put them on myself, just to clarify. Now the first thing that I noticed from the build quality standpoint of the fan is that I think the plastic feels a bit cheaper compared to the standard Noctua fans. It feels a bit more rough, it's not as smooth, and even the blades too on this side. I don't think it should have any kind of performance effects, but I think that they just needed to cost down the materials because the Noctua standard fans really do feel quite premium. Not that saying that this doesn't feel good, it still feels better than most fans in the market, it's just that it's not the same level as the standard Noctua fans. Although it's understandable when it's basically less than half price of the standard Noctua fan. And the good thing is that you still get the sleeve cables, so you don't see any colors on the cables. Although in typical Noctua fashion, they don't sleeve it all the way to the end, because I think it's kind of difficult. Anyways, it's still not bad, you even get like and connectors which is a 4 pin by the way it's a PWM fan so that's not bad and you can see that the P12 design is not really changed since its launch it's still a 9 bladed design 
with the slight notches on the end of the fan blades, which is designed to reduce the noise by spreading the overall noise through a wider frequency range. At least that's the theory. And I think it should actually work because this fan is not really that loud. It's just a small air noise when you run it at full speed. And on the back here, you can see the uh, Noctua sticker is also not metal, not like the standard Noctua fan. It's actually just standard plastic, but it's really not an issue. It's just that when you compare it to the standard Noctua fan, this does feel it's a bit costed down. But it even still has the Noctua SSO bearing, so yeah, it's still gonna last quite a while, especially with a six year warranty. And you know, when I say that it feels a bit more cheap, I don't think you'll care about it because you're gonna install it in your PC anyways, and you won't ever touch it really much at all. So I don't think that's a big issue anyways. But yeah, now let's uh, get on to the performance testing, which I'll be testing on my PC, on my RX 580, on the water cooling radiator, on the back of my PC, and push and pull configurations. And the temperatures that you'll see are the delta temperatures of the GPU instead of the actual GPU temperature. It's the delta temperature of the GPU temp to the ambient temperature, not the actual GPU temperature, because that would vary too much depending on my ambient temperature, but delta temperature should be more accurate. So just keep that in mind when you see the graphs. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's go take a look at those. So yeah, from the performance results and also the noise results, you can probably deduce that the NFP12 being the cheapest fan in the testing roundup is probably gonna stay in the bottom of the charts, which it does. But you can see that it actually kind of hangs pretty close to the more expensive fans, I mean just a degree or two sometimes on the lower RPMs. So I think that this is actually quite a good deal because you're still getting the same Noctua 6 year warranty on this fan well being probably like less than half price because this is, a, this is thing this thing is like $30 without tax this is like more like 12 13 I think something along that line so it's a lot cheaper than this fan and if you want to kit out your whole PC with Noctua's going with Redux fans is, is a lot cheaper and if you see the results like I said this fan can hang with the more expensive fans at lower RPMs so if you're just going for silence I don't see what's wrong with just getting the Redux fans and running them at like a thousand RPM or something because there's, they're pretty silent at that speed. You can't really hear them and they're performing pretty well, quite close to more expensive fans. But if you're trying to look for performance and also silence, like both of them together, like balance, then you might want to see the NFA12 because this is by far the quietest fan in the lineup at 2000 RPM. You can't really hear it, it's just a slight wind noise that you have to get really close to hear it. I don't understand why some reviewers call this fan loud at full speed, because it's really not. 
especially compared to the Sky Dental Typhoon, which everyone loves, because this thing does have the performance. It's no joke. At 2150 RPM, which is what this model is, uh, but most people have the 1850 RPM, which is gonna perform worse than the A12 at maximum speed. But for this model, at least, it does perform better than the A12. And in a lot of the speed ranges that I tested as well, at the same speed, it does perform slightly better than the A12 in a couple of times. And it seems like this fan actually somehow performs better in pull instead of push, which is quite the opposite of most fans, which usually performs better in push than pull. But yeah, it's quite interesting that this thing is performing better in pull. If you see the lower RPM ranges, for example, like at 1000 RPM or so, you can see that this fan actually loses a few degrees when you push it, uh, when you mount it in push orientation instead of pull. But yeah, anyways, you can see that this is also a good choice, it's kind of gentle typhoon. But the problem is that at the same RPM as the NF-A12, the Sky Gentle Typhoon is actually a little bit louder than the NF-A12. So yeah, it has some bearing noise, I think that's what it is. The motor is actually quite noisy compared to the Noxia, which is completely silent. So in addition to the fan noise from the air, you also hear some bearing noise from the motor from the Sky Gentle Typhoon. Although some people might not be bothered by it. But you know, considering that this fan usually costs about the same as the Nacho, I would just go with the Nacho because this thing barely improves the temperature at full speed, but it's, you know, the Nacho is a lot quieter, so I would think this is a better, this is a better balance of quietness and performance. The NFF12 on the other hand, which I don't have on hand right now, uh, it actually performs pretty well too, but the problem with that fan is that although it's performing really well at the same RPM as the other fan, it's actually pretty noisy at the same RPM. And that's just because the NFF12 has those like static uh, stator vanes that you see on the back of the fan and its purpose is to increase the static pressure and enhance the performance of the fan, but it also adds some noise. But Nacho has actually tuned the stator vanes to make the noise not very annoying, which I think is actually quite true. I'm not really annoyed by the noise, but it is noisier if you measure it with a DVA meter. It's just I don't have a DVA meter, so you just have to take my word for it and also listen to the video clips that I have of the fans running and see which one's noisier and which noise profile you actually like and can tolerate. But yeah, the F12 has been surpassed by the A12. I don't see any reason you want to get the F12 anymore unless you want to get the F12 IPPC, in which case at 3000 RPM, yes, it actually does beat the A12 fan by quite a few degrees. But that's just because it's running way faster and way louder in the A12. Well, this one is basically silent, like I said. But yeah, anyways, I would say that, like I said, this fan is also pretty good, the P12. If you want a cheap nacho and you want to kit out your whole system without spending way too much money on fans, then I would say the Redox fans are actually pretty good. And, you know, depending on your opinion, it might look better in your rig than the standard nacho brown and tan color scheme. But, you know, it's opinion. Some people actually like the Noxio color scheme. Me personally, I don't really care for the color for the color of the Noxio, but I wouldn't really mind it either in my PC. But I would definitely prefer this color scheme. And yeah, just keep in mind that it's quite bare bones. So if you want the rubber mounts, you just need to buy them yourselves. But at least they still give you the sleeve cable. Anyways, that's it for this video and this small roundout of fans and also basically the review of the new P12 fan. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, and I will be pushing out more content pretty soon because I finally had more time to make videos. But thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do, please leave a like and please click subscribe to see more of my future videos. Thanks for watching.